up, buddy nerdigans? This is the one and only Packer Girl 89, and today's manga nerdigan live reaction video is going to be for Haikyuu chapter 266. And last chapter, we got to see catch up a little bit with Gemma and the Nakoma team, and I got to feel like we're going to be doing that again this chapter because this chapter is titled Cats vs. Buckies. I just wish we would get to the second set already. I want to get to the second set. There better be a good reason why we are continuing this stuff with Nakoma as much as I love Genma and I want to hug him and squeeze him to death. I want to get to the second set. Anyway, let's get to this chapter and see what happens next. And this chapter is as titled, as I said, Cats vs. Monkeys. But this cover is just cute. Look at, look at, look at my boy, Hinata. I, lo I love that orange uniform on Hinata. <laughs> it looks so cute. It looks like a tangerine. He's an orange warrior! He's a ginger warrior! Um, and then you got look, Kageyama. I love Kageyama's positioning. It's so cool. Um, and it says, bring it on, national warriors. Here we go. Nakoma around one year and ten months earlier. Oh my god, there better be a point in, in this chapter, I swear. Um, uh, that year, first year over there is so slow. I hate running so much. Because <gasps> this is Kenma in his first year! His hair is so different! <laughs> um, Kazumi Kenya, uh, Ke uh, Kenma, first year. But when I'm running and enjoying the scenery, I sort of like to let my imagination wander. Um, I am a wide road. Those plants over there, I'm certain that I can climb them. There could be a hidden treasure- <laughs> There could be a hidden treasure waiting on the rooftop! Gods! He sure is a first year, uh... He sure is, um... He sure is a first year like me. Yamamoto, Tara, Tara, yeah, it's like the Mohawk guy. Oi, you're freaking slow. Hey, you're so oh, slow. You're a lot behind. <laughs> Give us thinking of Mario Kart. <laughs> oh, Show me some spirit. Boy, I'm bad at that. The wall between our hearts. Aww. Oh. Um. Sign to Koma's gym. Yako, uh, Yaku, nice receive. That's a pass. That That's the coma for you. Uh, the A pass. The receive that returns the ball directly to the setter's original position. Look, look at him. He's like, Kev was like, I want to sit down. A pass? A nice pass. Foo foo. In Japanese, the word for good, nice, reads the same, um, reads the same as the letter A. That is weird! Japanese language is weird! But so is he the Hebrew language is a very weird language too. But that that's a whole different topic. Um, Kazume, even if you're Kuro-san's friend, I definitely won't go easy on you. What's that? What what does my relationship with Kuro have to, have to do with this? That was just a personal pass. Oi, squeak, squeak, hey! He always shows such a lackluster face, and his voice is soft too, yet he's kinda good. He pisses me off. Take this. Oh. Ah! Ah, they sure um, are giving it their all. Can you at least make the effort to cooperate? They started it, though. But you're, ju you're not the type to just let things be, either. I don't mean to say that you have to get along, but you're in the same uh, year, and uh, you'll be together for a long time. So from, um, so from today, we'll be uh, with... Uh, a uh, new team that we're not used to, but please give it your all out there tomorrow, too. Good job today. Oh, Yamamoto, are you still running? Yeah, good job today, guys. Yamamoto, don't overdo it. Yeah. Yamamoto puts in way too much effort. Don't force yourself that much. I'm going to Nakoma. Um, I'll play a gutsy volley... I'll play gu uh, gutsy volleyball in a gutsy team. Eh, eh, good luck. Fun, fun, guts. Thank you very much. So there, um, it was showing Nakoma, Mar um, Mariguchi, the second bout, 125, 23, or second set. Sec I thought second bout because of, uh, Shoko Geki no Soma. Hey, Kazume, uh, those were nice t tosses. Even though it was our first practice match, they were really stable and easy to shoot. And you showed some nerve when we were cornered. I know there's gotta be a point to this flashback, but God, I, I really, really, really want this flashback to be over so bad. I really do. But I know, I know there's a point to this flashback. I just know there is. I know there's a point to this flashback. So I 
Gotta keep going. In my precious practice day B match, I did several consecutive net outs and bumped into Kuro's so uh, song too many times. Well, it's our first practice, uh, or sorry, well, it's our first match. These things happen. Yes. Good job, good job. Kuro, the professor is calling for you. Okay, can you at least make the effort to cooperate? Eh, um, Yamamoto-kun? Don't you think it'd be better if, um, it put, uh, it'd be better it put less strength in your shoulders, just like you do? Is it really that easy? I've been showing off how much effort, um, I put in. How can I reduce the strength so easily? Um... Um, no, in any case, I just didn't put enough guts into it. I think it'd be better to reflect on it being, um, something more specific than just guts. I looked at the ball too much. I got caught up in the opponent's rhythm. I tried to score, uh, difficult points too many times. If, if you know it, why do you try to get away with guts? The fact that I lack guts and effort in practice is, is the same. The excess of running and, uh, weight training is not effort, but self-satisfaction. You bastard, how's that? Just how many times do you think I've chased the ball? You, you, you have been putting effort in, however, you're getting too tired. You're connecting, but you're giving the opponent too many chance balls. I give it all my, um, I give it my all in training, even in the games. Are you going to quit in the after game evaluation? Are you go really going to fight? Still, it seems like they're fighting about something serious. You have no guts with, uh, right, you have no guts. What right do you have to talk to me about, uh, having guts? Guts this, guts that, shut your mouth! Thank you! <laughs> oh my god, I've been wanting to say that! Stop talking about guts! Oh my god. Uh, you're, guts this, guts that, shut your mouth, you're just sloppy! Your physical abilities don't remain for, uh, remain for even one time! Don't talk about things you don't understand! Oi, looky here! Oh! <laughs> I doubt seven water. You got too far, uh, uh, to, to, Dostoevsky. There you go, Dostoevsky. Huh? 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 You bastard! What? Huh? Where'd that punch come from, Dostu? What was that? Who's cleaning up after you guys? You're amazing, Fukunaga. <laughs> Fukunaga, your fight was interesting. What are you laughing at? <laughs> What's the <laughs> disturbance? Huh. I haven't used such a loud voice in a long time. I want to hug him, he's so innocent, he's so... <laughs> He's putting more effort, too. What is this guy? This intensity? Wasn't this the guy who had no fight experience and no will to succeed? You know, you know who he's making me think, um... He's making me think of? He's making me think of Robot from Robot X Laser Beam! That's exactly who I'm getting reminded of right now, is Robot. It's unthinkable. This guy hates to lose. Exactly like Robot from Robot X Laser Beam! Sorry, too short. Left. I swear, Kenma is Robot. Kenma is the volleyball version of Robot. I have confirmed this. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go read uh, Robot X Laser Beam, um, which is the golf manga that's in Shonen Jump right now. I'm telling you, Kenma is basically Robot, or Robot is basically Kenma. Kenma, don't slack off. You're supposed to be, uh, supposed to do an overhand there. Um, uh, so, uh oops, I skipped one. Sorry, too short. Left. Kenma, don't slack off. You're supposed to do an overhand there. He found out. You need to move your body below the o the ball for an overhand. Giving one more step now is a pain. I wish my arms grew another two meters. As I thought, he doesn't have guts. If Kenma heard you say that, he would punch you in the face, probably. Nice kill. Nice one. Nice one. Uh, Yama High. Uh, so this is a volleyball at Nash, uh, National Inner High first round. Rah! That was an amazing sound. Yamamoto, nice kill. Nakama's first years are amazing. This better be setting up that we're gonna, that Karasana is gonna be playing against Nakama in the championships. I swear to God. If that's not what this is, I'm gonna be so pissed. Um, that was an amazing sound. Yamamoto, nice kill. Nakoma's first years are amazing. Their number one is uh, getting conscious of our, blo our blocks. I think he'll start mixing some feints in there and we'll start being more, uh, um, we'll start being more out. So we have to judge carefully. Yes, I'm glad he's not my enemy. Hey, Kema, you can call me Tora. That's what my friends call me. 
Do I have to call you that? <laughs> I love, I love it! I love Kemba and Taurus dynamic. They're, <laughs> they're like just a second away from like killing each other. Like a, a, heart, um, a heartbeat away from killing each other. Tora! Oh, finally, the flashback is over. I guess the point was that they, they were just showing Ken and Tora's relationship. And if you think about it, their relationship is very similar to Kageyama and Hinata's relationship. <laughs> the, um, the Kamada Sensei has always given uh, de uh, defense the most important role. The position of setter is often played by uh, so by some by um, someone with a high uh, degree of ability. That's not the case. They often do person uh, personnel selection too. If the setter is the brain, so for him have to have a good sense of is of um, great importance. That's just defensive power in itself. Even if we can't face that defense head on. Um, uh, we can uh, peel it off bit by bit. If we do that, the fragile setter will show his face. Nice block. No, I'm sorry. Kema, move it. Uh, he found out. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just curious. But why won't he, um, an underhand cut it? Eh, because it's difficult to hit. Really? I hadn't thought about that. I was like thinking the cat for, the cats versus monkeys had something to do <laughs> with Tora and, and uh, with Tora, but I think I'm wrong. Um, usually you get the uh, the ball up like this. If you do it like this, the timing is a bit off. Mm -hmm. You can control the ball more precisely with an overhand, and the uh, motion of the underhand is easy to read, so the blockers have it easier. So, so we're at um. Sakura, uh, Sarukawa is 19, Nakoma is 17. This is a break for Sarukawa here. This is the first time Sarukawa gets a lead in the second set. Oh no, we're in the second set! Oh, this is bad! Sarukawa sure knows how to perfectly aim for the difficult spots. Oh my god, we better not be skipping this set, second set for Karasano. I'm gonna be mad. Uh, they're even, even refraining from hitting with all their might, even if they could get them um, some points, and they have skillfully incorporated that in the middle of the game. When they are standing in the court and the enemy in front of them has the ball, they won't let them do as they planned on the whiteboard. Um, um, nice kill. Nice one. Nice one, Nakoma. Push it. Push it, Nakoma. Still, to be able to do that, the strain to persevere. Nice serve, uh, Kuro serve. The intelligence and composure to hold off like that in the whole match. What spl what a splendid, uh, what splendid players you have, um, Haritaka. Crush, crush. The setter spoiled with the pa with with um, passes. We're gonna crush him. Uh oh. <clears throat> with a passes, it says. Um, still, I won't let you play um, as as you wrote in the whiteboard. Nice receive, squeak, squeak. Your plan is to invest your time and crush Kenma. I'm t like, what I originally thought this chapter, like, as I was reading this, I thought this is Cats vs. Bucky's <laughs> Kenma vs. <versus> Tora. <laughs> I was thinking that. Like, as, I was, uh, as I'm reading this, I'm like thinking, God, is, are they talking about, are they talking about Kenma vs. Tora? Or are they talking about, you know, uh, um, uh, uh, you know, you know, the match that they're doing. But I think that, I think it's, I think they're doing, it's both. I think it's a combination of both. But anyway, um, your plan is to invest t your time in Crush Kenma. But we are in a coma. Yeah, you, you're not going to, you're not screwing with coma here. We're going to adapt. Nice receive. Um, an iridescent attack and defense. So, something that I'm worried about that's going to happen is we're not, uh, I'm curious what you guys think is we're not going to see um, the second set for um, Karasano. I think we're just going to skip it, and this is why we're getting the Nakoma uh, second set, because we're going to, after this, we're going to go straight into, you know, the next round. And that really kind of bothers me, because I really wanted, I was really looking forward to the second set for Karasano. But if we skip it, we skip it, because I was thinking it was going to, but... I think we got a lot out of the first round for Karasano, so if we skip the second, or I mean the first set, so if we skip the second set, it's not the end of the world, but I really wanted to see if, like, the Asumi twins had something up their sleeve, had more up their sleeve, like I think they did. 
and I wanted to see more of that uh, that uh, that rivalry with Hinata and Kageyama and the Asumi twins. I really wanted to see more of that, but I'm very curious what you guys think. Do you guys think we're going to be skipping the second set, the Karasano second set, and uh, go straight into the final round? Or uh, do you think, or do you think like after this, we're going to still get the second set? Um, let me know in the comment section below, and remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerdican Zinc. If you love what I'm doing and want to contribute to the Nerdican Zinc expansion, there's a few ways you could do that. You could donate to the Nerdican Zinc PayPal, Patreon, or purchase something off the Nerdican Zinc Amazon wishlist. All those links are in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow me on the Twits, aka Twitter. Follow my Twitch channel, friend me on PlayStation Network. All that's in the description box below as well. Until next time, Nerdicans, I'll be seeing you later. Bye!